discussing all about online platforms for ICT content development. Right, so the most essential learning competency for this lesson is to explore the principles of interactivity and rich content in the context if web 2.0 and the participation of the user in the online experience. And these are the objectives for this lesson. First is to describe ICT as a tool, medium and force in bringing about action and mobilize change in population, society, or cultures. Evaluate existing online platforms and applications in developing ICT content in a specific professional track. Uh, what is an online platform? So these are technologies that are grouped to be used as a base upon which other applications, processes, or technologies are developed. It is a base of technologies designed to run within an online environment and provides interactive online services. Uh, so online platform is developed platform using the internet technology so only platforms has an access to any information worldwide so in our daily life today we use internet in doing such things and in our learning purposes so these are available platforms or applications that we can use every day in our daily life so what are the examples of what are the examples of online platform? First is we have the presentation or visualization. Next is the cloud computing, social media, web page creation, file management, and mapping. So what do you mean by presentation or visualization? So it allows you to present and share presentations, infographics, and videos with other people online. So it communicates information clearly and efficiently via statistical graphics, plots, and information graphics. So this is a website or application that we can use to create our presentation, our infographics, and videos, and we were able to um, share it to other people via the internet. So, what are the examples of this um, visual visualization or presentation? So, we have the Prezi, um, helping to reinvent the art of presentation. Suho, an online project management app that helps you plan your work and keep track of your progress. So, we have also the, the most um, famous or very common to us is SlideShare. So, you can build uh, quickly a concise, well presented content from app experts. So, we can um, create our own presentation and share it to um, that website, this SlideShare. Then we have the Mind Mister, an online mind mapping tool that lets you capture, develop, and share ideas visually. So, kumbaga para lang din siyang uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? But online. Next, uh, we have the cloud computing. So, it is a practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to explore, manage, and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer. So it is uh, simply called as the cloud. Uh, we can access um, the file or our information or the documents anytime. Instead of using your computer's hard drive, you store and access your data and programs over the internet. Kumbaga, um, um, with the local or with the offline, we have the hard drive to store our um, documents, right? Or we access our data through our computer's hard drive. But this 
uh, we can um, store, manage, and process data via um, internet or via online. Right, so we have the Google Drive, we have the Dropbox, and OneDrive are uh, some examples of cloud computing. Next, we have the social media. So this is very common and familiar to us, right? So um, social media are computer-mediated tools that allow people, companies, and other organizations to create, share, or exchange information, career, interest, ideas, and pictures or videos in virtual communities and networks. So we use the social media to communicate with other people around the world. So what are the examples of this social media? So we have the Twitter online social networking service that enables users to send and hit short 140 character messages called tweets. So we have the Facebook is for profit corporation and online social networking service. And we have also Tumblr, a microblogging platform and social networking website. So there um, there is a lot of um, social media that we can use to share um, same interest or information or to communicate with other people. Next is we have the web page creation. So it encompasses a number of important elements including color, layout, and overall graphical Right, so this is an application or a website that we can use to create our own web page. So one of these examples are uh, Wix and Weebly. So Wix is a cloud-based web development platform that allows users to create HTML5 websites and mobile sites through the use of their online track and drop tools. So we don't need Code uh, the tags or codes, right? In order for us to create our um, website, so all you need to just do um, drag and drop uh, the pictures or the videos needed to your website. Okay. Then we have the Weebly, a web hosting service featuring a drag and drop website builder. Kung magamas matili na ipagawa ng uh, isang web page or um, a website, magasabi niya natin. Kasi kailangan mo lang, you just have to lay out kung paano mo um, gagawin, kung ano yung magiging appearance ng webpage mo. So kung saan mo ilalagay mga pictures and text. So madali na lang. Hindi ka na magkukuha. Right? The next is we have the file management. So file management is the story, naming, sorting, and handling computer files. It allows you to convert and manage files without downloading the software tool. So these are available websites or um, applications online that we can use to convert and manage our files without even downloading the software to download our um, documents or our files. Like for example, PDF to Word or Word to PDF or we have also video to audio. Okay. Conversion. So, pwede natin siyang gawin through online. Like, for example, sa mga YouTube, di ba mahilig tayo mag-download uh, mag or convert siya into audio lang. So, we have, there's a lot of websites available to convert that file. Okay? So, we have Zamzar, where to convert word files to pdf or portable document format with this online tool so these are some examples of file management so we have mapping so a transformation taking the points of one space into the points of the same or another space so it uses gps to detect location and used for navigation so we use this mapping right to locate the uh, the address or a specific address or location, right? Kumbaga, like for example, yung mga 
um, grab drivers um, they're using um, GPS to locate the address of their clients so example na nga yun is yung Google Maps so a desktop web mapping service developed by Google so hindi na naman Google Maps okay? ito na nga talaga pinaka famous or common na ginagamit pero there is other um, application right, that we can use to get direction or the, the, the location alright content management system or what we call CMS so what it is so it is an all um, it is a computer application sometimes online or browser based so pag sinabi natin online or browser based so it only works with internet connection right so it that allows you to publish edit and manipulate organize and delete web content so cms is used in blogs news websites and shopping so it is a discussion or so this is just an example of the cms a blog so it is a discussion or informational website published on the web consisting of the speed of often information diary style text entries or what we call posts so posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order so that the most recent post appears first at the top of the web page so we have the wordpress or wordpress.com blogger blogger.com or blogspot.com um, blog.com billion.com squarespace.com are just some examples of the blogging sites that we can use right if you want to create your own blog okay